So thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining today's live stream. <clears throat> My name is Master Paul, and today is going to be actually a very special live stream. Today, I'm going to be um, offering a basically my first workshop free. And this is uh, a program that I have created, and it's called 52 Weeks to Self-Healing. And in this program, it is uh, about how you can apply the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to humanity to bring uh, self-healing to every aspect of your life. And it doesn't matter if it's physical problems, health issues, uh, emotional problems, mental imbalances, it just doesn't matter what it is. Uh, today's live stream is on the source of all illness. Now this is the first of a 52 week series. And in this series, it is a registered event, so it's not something I'm doing on Facebook Live. This is a first one and it is a free uh, explanation. And you're gonna see how I do private webcasts because I've done quite a few of these already. Uh, 10, 15, 20 students. And during the private webcast, there is one-on-one -on -one interaction, okay? I won't be able to do that today because I'm going through Zoom and through Facebook. But you're gonna see the PowerPoint that I've set up and you'll get an idea and a feel for how the class would work, all right? So thank you for coming, thank you for joining. The purpose of this live stream <clears throat> is so that when you realize the value of this teaching, you start to realize the value of a dedicated teaching once a week. Now, this also includes a practice session. And so when somebody joins the 52-week self-healing program, you can join for one month at a time, three months at a time. Each and every week, I dissect a certain uh, aspect of one of Master Shah's books, starting with some of the earlier ones and moving forward, giving you a solid working foundation to bring healing to your life. Uh, nine years ago, almost 10 years ago now, when I started this, I had significant problems, health, physical, emotional, you name it. I had a lot of problems. And so is just about everyone I've ever worked with. And those who apply these wisdoms just get better and better and better. But it does require application. And the one thing I've discovered about applying the wisdoms is it's much, much easier to apply the self-healing techniques when you have a coach when you have someone that's there holding your hand the whole way. And in my Facebook live streams, it's just me chatting at you and not holding your hand. When you join the registered program for the 52 weeks self-healing, you actually get someone holding your hand, me. That means that I'm available through, through Messenger, I'm available through Skype, I'm available to you. That means that when you have questions, you get answers. Uh, that means I give you guidance on how to apply what you're learning that week. Now there's also a Tuesday practice. And so there's actually twice a week where you get to learn and apply what you have learned. So what I'm gonna to do today is an actual teaching using the uh, Zoom program that I'll be using when I do the webinar. And you'll get a feel for what uh, uh, the teaching will be like and the value to you. But let, first, let me see who's joined and acknowledge everybody. <clears throat> so welcome Crane, welcome Peggy, aloha and welcome to Patty and Candy. Aloha and welcome also to Zeri Zink and Shirley Schuster. Welcome also to Car uh, Carl Strainer. And aloha Kathleen Monahan, Nina Midway. Aloha and welcome to Craig Beam and Boss Van Buren. Welcome to Sharon Dodd, Melissa Reiki. Welcome also to Vanessa and Ali Fess. Aloha Jennifer, aloha Danielle Nagy. And I think I mentioned Missy already. So welcome everybody. Uh, I see 22 have joined, but these are the only names that are popping up on my screen. You may also be commenting. I deeply apologize. Um, Zoom has definitely went through a new way of communicating with Facebook. As I haven't done it in a while. When I went in and tuned in today, I had to jump to a couple of unique and new hoops. And it's very clear that their Facebook handshake is not a solid one yet. Might look good on your side, my side not so much. So again, I apologize that I won't be able to respond to your comments because I can't see them basically. Um, so in any case, I will uh, present. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch over to a screen share mode in which I'll be going through a PowerPoint and I'll switch back and chat with you a little bit uh, interlaced. And what we're gonna talk about is the source of all illness. Now this is not a small subject matter guys. When you think about it, the source of all illness is a massive, massive subject matter because 
who out there in the world of Eastern and Western medicine can tell you, I have the solution for the source of all illness. I don't think you're going to find anybody out there. And so it's a pretty bold statement to say the source of all illness. We're going to have a lot of people hanging on the end of their seat going, well, what is the source of all illness? You're going to learn today from a person named Dr. Master Shah, and I'm going to share with you some of his information. So let's see how well this works. This program is called The Cause of All Illness. So let's do some introductions and some credentials. What does that mean? Well, Dr. and Master Shah is the creator of this program. I am just the deliverer of the information that he has created. So let's talk a little bit about who this gentleman is. He is a world-renowned healer. World-renowned. The whole world knows who Master Shah is. He is the author of 24 books, 11 of which are New York Times bestsellers. Now truly think about that for a second. Wouldn't you be proud to have one New York Times bestsellers? How many people have even more than one? You can count them on two hands, the people that have one, more than one New York Times bestseller. Very few in the world. He has 11. That must mean that the message that he's writing carries some great and deep and valuable wisdom. Master Shah is a Dong Yigong Qigong lineage. He is Peng Zhu lineage, and he is Ibitsu calligraphy lineage. I'm not gonna go into each of those. The short version is, he is a Qigong master, which is an energy healer master. That's Don Yigong. He is a Peng Zhu lineage, which Peng Zhu is the master of Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu is the, is the one who wrote the book called the Tao Te Ching, which has actually sold more copies than the Bible. Okay, that's how popular it is in the East. But it's not um, scripture. It's the way of all life. There's 81 uh, explanations on how to um, bring yourself to life. And that was written by Lao Tzu and Peng Tzu is Lao Tzu's master. And so Master Shah follows in that lineage. And then he is the, in the Ibitsu calligraphy lineage, which is oneness source calligraphy. He is also the founder of the Love, Peace, Harmony movement, which is a worldwide movement to bring love, peace, and harmony to humanity. And he is medically trained in Eastern and Western medicine. So as a uh, astounding person who has delivered such amazing, amazing uh, wisdom to humanity, Master Shah has done all of this with great humility. He has taken no credit whatsoever for any of the wisdom in the book. He does not take credit for the literally over one million healing miracles that has come through him, that have been delivered through him. And he takes no credit for um, any of the accolades that have been thrown upon him. Who does he give credit to? To the source, to the Tao, to the creator, to God, whatever name you want to call it. That's a person I'm willing to follow, and that's why I refer to him as Master Shah. So the wisdom in the books that I'm sharing is from him. So now let's go back to sharing the screen. And a short six minute video of who is Master Shah.
Okay, so that gives you a little bit of an idea of who is Master Shah. And then people want to know, okay, who is this guy named Master Paul? Most of you watching on Facebook live stream, uh, come to my live streams, know who I am. But for those that are new, considering attending this course, so I'm a Master Shah Worldwide representative. Out of 100 and, uh, excuse me, out of about 10,000 students, about 140 have reached this standard or this uh, authority. I'm also a certified master teacher at the Institute of the Association of Tao. And I'm a 10 year trainee underneath Master Shah's tutelage. I'm a certified Tao healer. And <clears throat> I'm also a certified soul communicator with eight years of teaching experience. So I want to make a quick note that all the materials, books, images are copyrighted and trademark protected. So please honor Master Shah and his various organizations by always acknowledging the source of this wisdom. Okay. So we're going to be talking about the course, excuse me, the causes of illness. Now this is <clears throat> uh, coming from the Soul Mind Body Medicine book, page 10 through 16. And we're going to go straight into it now. So in Western medicine, some of the causes of illness include bacteria, viruses, parasites, stress, trauma, physical defects in organs, such as the heart, the biochemical imbalances in the brain, environmental factors, and genetic factors. Now, this is important uh, to understand that in Western medicine, they look at illness as things that are coming from the outside. It's bacterial, it's stress, it's trauma, it's heart, it's a biomedical condition, it's an imbalance in the brain, or it's something from the outside, an environmental factor. But according to traditional Chinese medicine, illnesses, this is Eastern medicine now, are caused by imbalances of what is called yin and yang, or the five elements. So it's a completely different take on things. Uh, the five elements include wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. So the body's organs and the body's systems and the tissues, according to Eastern medicine, can be categorized by these elements. The liver is the wood element, the heart is the fire element, and so forth. They, in Eastern medicine, are interrelated. In Western medicine, they, they look at the source of all illness and they say, okay, the liver is the problem. It's your liver, 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 fix your liver, cut your liver out, replace your liver, you know, whatever you got to do. Uh, but they're all about looking at it from an individual space. In Eastern medicine, they look at everything homogeneously. They, they look at everything interconnected where the wood element, the liver, affects the fire element. It actually feeds the fire element, which is the heart. And if the fire element is out of balance, it impacts the earth element, which has associations to the spleen and so forth. So there is a substantial difference in perspective in Eastern and Western medicine. In Eastern medicine, they say that things are balanced in yin and yang, that if they are in balance, one is healthy and the balance is lost. When the balance is lost, 
one is sick. And so one of the things that you can see here on this slide is that in soul, mind, body, medicine, uh, and, and the wisdom that Master Shah has, has received in Eastern medicine and from heaven is that the causes of illness are moved into three categories, Jing, Qi, and Shen. Jing, Qi, and Shen. And so Jing is a Mandarin Chinese word that means matter, matter, like physical things, touch, matter. Qi is energy or energy blockages. And Shen is a Mandarin Chinese word that means spiritual. Now, in Master Shah's more recent teachings, he refers to Jing Qi Shen as uh, Shen is soul, heart, and mind. Qi is energy and Jing is matter. And the basic teaching is that when <clears throat> we are ill, when we have mental uh, blockages, great negativity, when we have physical pain, just pain, okay, it's simple, it's pain. Um, Western medicine says, you know, it's because you pulled your muscle and it's because of, you know, you tripped and bruised yourself and uh, take an aspirin, you'll feel better in the morning. Uh, Eastern medicine looks at it and it says, well, there is a root cause. These are Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. It takes more of a spiritual approach to things. So let's delve into these two different choices and options a little bit so we can have a further understanding of the root cause of all illness. So <clears throat> the Eastern approach looks at it and says the root causes Shen, Qi, Jing blockages or Jing, Qi, Shen blockages, and they impact each other. So let's take a look. In ancient spiritual teachings, this is on page 14 to 16 of the uh, Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine book. In ancient spiritual teachings, there is profound wisdom that everyone and everything in the universe consists of Jing, Qi, and Shen. Well, this is huge. Everyone and everything, according to this wisdom, is made up of energy and matter and spirit or creator. The body is made up of Jing Qi Shen. A system like the immune system or the nervous system is made up of Jing Qi Shen. An organ is made up of Jing Qi Shen. What's another way of saying that? An organ is made up of matter, energy that flows between the matter and spirit or our life force energy, and soul, creator. Okay, so Eastern medicine looks at soul, looks at spirituality. Western medicine does not consider it even a little. Okay, Shen Qi Jing is also found in all the RNA and DNA. Conventional medicine focuses on matter. Blood tests measure biochemical changes inside the cells. CT scans and MRIs detect growths inside the body. Surgery removes the matter from the body, including cysts, tumors, stones, and more. Medications adjusts the matter in the body. So it's really important when you think about it <clears throat> that the approach is actually very, very different. Uh, I am very great, grateful for Western medicine. I tell you, you know, it's a great thing to be able to go get an x-ray and see what's really going on inside the body, right? Nothing quite like that. It's a beautiful thing to be able to do a blood test and they say, ah, these, you know, these uh, white T cells and red T cells and the blood cells, you know, these are out of, out of balance. Uh, you, your, your markers for your kidneys are out of balance. You need to do this, this, and that. I appreciate the an analytical side of it, but it only goes so far and in no case does it acknowledge source or spirit, okay? If we look at traditional Chinese medicine, it focuses on qi. Qi means energy. Qi is the vital energy and the life force. There is a, an original uh, book that all Eastern medicine is built upon, and it's called The Yellow Emperor's Internal Classic. Yellow Emperor's Internal Classic. And the ancient authority book, it is the ancient authority book, I'll show you this, <clears throat> on uh, traditional Chinese medicine. And it states that if qi flows, a person is healthy. And if chi is blocked, when a person is sick. Think about that. What is chi? 
chi is your life force energy. If life force energy, if heaven and mother earth, which is what has empowered you, it is your battery cell, heaven and mother earth created humanity. And so they're the ones that are empowering us. If their life force energy is flowing through us, we are healthy. And if it's not, we're sick. That's pretty straightforward, kind of hard to deny, right? <clears throat> Conventional medicine focuses on matter inside the cells. Traditional Chinese medicine and many other healing modalities focus on energy between the cells, not the matter inside the cells, but the energy between the cells. So Tao, soul healing, self-healing, focuses on soul, focuses on spirit. A soul is a golden light being. Soul is spirit. Soul may be construed as message. You'll understand more about that as we go. So soul is a golden light being. Very few people have issues with that. Soul is spirit. Very few people will have issue with that. But if I told you that soul is message or soul carries message, then the brain kind of sends a question mark. Up, says, huh? Well, we'll come around to that. Soul is the essence of life and soul is the boss of a human being. So the foundational wisdom and practice of self-healing using the Tao wisdom of soul healing, it can be summarized in one sentence. Heal the soul first, then the healing of the mind and the body will follow. Now, some of you have heard this before. Many of you have heard it before, but many of you may be getting deeper aha moments at this time. Another profound one-sentence secret that people have not realized enough yet. When a person gets sick, very important, the soul is sick first. Then sickness of the mind and body follows. So, so, what, so, so let's think about this. The soul is sick before the you get sick? The soul is sick before it shows up in your world and your, and your mind and body doesn't feel good? That's a very profound statement. Very important statement. And I will flesh it out in the remainder of these teachings, okay? Now remember, this wisdom is not Paul Fletcher. This is Master Shah wisdom. This is Eastern medicine philosophy wisdom. This is wisdom from the divine source. If you want to know the root of all sickness, the source of all sickness, you must look beyond the physical body and the matter. You must look beyond the chi and the life force energy that flows through our body. You must look to what created the energy and the matter. You must look to the source blockages. And that's what's going to be defined in greater detail moving forward. Are you guys enjoying this? I wish I could see your questions. I cannot at this time. But if this was a Zoom uh, teaching where I, you're in one of my registered classes, which is what the purpose I'm doing this for, to call you to my 50-week, 52-week self-healing course, I will go through his book stage by stage, just like this, and it will be a private uh, Zoom live stream in which I see you, you see me, you can ask questions, and I will answer you right away. So it's very, it's much like just being in a direct classroom. We also will be focusing only half of that one hour is on teachings. The other half is actual practice. Because if you don't do the practice, you don't get healed. Very simple. So I don't heal you. I am teaching you how to self-heal by applying the wisdom. And this applies for all things physical, all things emotional, all things mental. But this is the wisdom. This is the foundation. Okay? So I hope you are enjoying this. Join my class. I know Kristen Rojas, she's my right hand, she is posting on her post how to join the class. So you can click on that to follow through. So let's go back to sharing the screen and we'll go into this a little bit deeper. So to repeat, that when you heal the soul first, then the healing of everything that follows, meaning the mind and the body, will start to occur. Also, when a person gets sick, the soul gets sick first. Then the sickness of the mind and body will follow. Great wisdom. Let's take a little further. So for example, before a growth such as a cyst or a tumor or a cancer appears on the physical body, the soul of the organ 
or part of that body is already blocked. Think about that. Your soul looks like you. So if the cyst is on the ovaries, your ovaries, you have an idea what they look like. You've seen them before in pictures. Well, your soul has soul ovaries. And at the level of the soul, at the level of the ovaries on your soul body, there is a blockage there. There is a little bit of darkness there. So the soul is sick first, and then it shows up in the physical body. Are you starting to get it? Now we cover the, the information Master Shaw is sharing about message. He explains that soul is message. The growth message happens at the invisible level. The cyst message happens at the invisible level. If the message is not cleared, a physical growth appears. So let's talk more about that. Bullet points. Because the soul is the boss of the mind and the body, sickness starts at the soul level. Then it moves to the mind and the body. Healing starts at the soul level, then the mind and body can adjust. So if you bring the healing to the ovaries at the soul level, where the darkness is, why is the darkness there? Because it's carrying a message. What is the message? We're coming around to that. Hang in there. Every human has a soul, mind, and body. Soul, mind, and body is another way of saying jing, qi, shen. What is your body? Your body is your matter, okay? Um, your body is made up of energy and matter. Your soul includes the soul, heart, and the mind. Shen includes soul and mind. Now, this is earlier teachings that now has been updated to include soul, heart, and mind. Body includes qi and jing. <clears throat> Bullet point number four, a bodily system, such as the cardiovascular system or the digestive system, has a soul, heart, mind, body. It has energy. Every cell, every unit, every RNA, every DNA carries Jing, Qi, and Shen. So this is repeating itself, but it's important that you get it. So soul blockages are due to negative karma. What are messages on the soul? Neg messages on the soul that create cysts on the ovaries or blockages like cancer, tumor, cysts, right? These are negative karma blockages. What are mind blockages? Negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, ego and attachment. What are body blockages? These are energy and matter blockages. <laughs> To heal is to remove soul, mind, body blockages. So let me repeat that. To heal is to remove soul, mind, body blockages. When we remove blockages that are soul karma blockages, mistakes that we made, negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs that are bringing the negative messages at the level of soul, uh, uh, and then physical level blockages. Maybe we harmed others physically. Those create physical blockages for us. Karma, very simple. You hurt somebody's knee, you kick out their knee from underneath them, you're in wartime in previous times, you cut their knee, we could have significant knee pain. These are soul, mind, body level blockages that reside as messages on the level of soul. Do you really get it now? What is the cause of all illness? That was, the, that was the, the, the title to this. The cause of all illness is our blockages, soul level blockages, heart level blockages, mind level blockages, energy level blockages, physical matter level blockages. <clears throat> How then do we clear these blockages? That's what you learn in this program. That's why you need to join this program because you learn step by step. You learn the practices how to clear them. You learn the practices how to move forward. You learn the practices how to get healthier and happier. Release negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. You learn the practices to open your heart and soul. All of these help you to be happier and healthier. But you must understand the root cause first before you can enroll to apply the practices and you must enroll before you can actually do these things just watching me once a week on facebook live stream is not going to majorly shift your world 
I've received many positive comments that the people's lives have positively changed as a result. I give all credit to Master Shah. He gives all credit to God. Great. We give credit, we pass it on. But if you truly want to change your life, join the 52 week uh, uh, Awaken Yourself to Self Healing course. So let us uh, go back to the screen share and move on. <clears throat> What are jing blockages? Jing is matter blockages. Matter blockages tend to be physical related things. Physical related things in our cells, cell units, RNA, DNA. So matter illnesses can also be considered the result of matter blockages. What's a matter illness? Cancer, right? Uh, lung congestion, asthma. Um, <clears throat> even if it's just a, a, a sore foot, Anything that happens in the body is a physical uh, issue. And so matter illness can be considered the result of matter blockages. Matter blockages and energy blockages are closely related through the matter energy transformation at the cellular level. This is week two. I teach about the, uh, the energy, cellular energy matter exchange. <clears throat> so for those that sign up, they'll understand what is this energy to matter exchange? How does it work? Matter blockages and energy blockages are closely related. So if you, if you have a blockage in your energy, then it causes your matter. Okay, let's use a good example. Pain. What is pain? Pain is condensation of too many cells uh, uh, pounding against each other, not enough chi flow. Okay. What does aspirin do? Aspirin thins the blood. Why do people feel better when they take aspirin? Because when the blood thins, then the uh, healing instruments the body has created go to the area of pain and the, the uh, receptors, cell receptors, can receive what it was not able to receive before the aspirin. Why was it not able to receive before the aspirin? Because the cells were inflamed and they were buttered up against each other. Therefore, there was no flow of energy between them. So Western medicine uses biochemical uh, um, activity to shift the matter in the body. So it causes the, the blood to thin, which causes blood to flow through the cells. Blood then carries the biochemical cursors to cause the pain to lessen. But at the same time blood is flowing, guess what else is flowing? Chi life force energy is now flowing between the cells. So they have some commonalities in their process. When qi flows, blood follows. So in traditional Chinese medicine, Tai Chi and Qigong is extremely popular. People will go to hospitals that are Qigong hospitals. They don't poke a needle in you except an acupuncture needle. They don't take your blood. They don't uh, 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 run you through x-rays or MRI machines. All they do for eight hours a day is Chi movement exercises <clears throat> and people get healthier and healthier and healthier and they walk away and their cancer is gone. And all they did was move the chi. Do you understand that the Eastern and Western medicine have similarities, but they're very different in their perspectives. So matter blockages and energy blockages are very closely related. So I'll go back now to the bullet points. When any major factor makes cellular vibration overactive in the body, the energy radiating out from these cells accumulates because it cannot flow quickly enough. So what's a major factor, okay? Tripping and falling on your knee. That creates major cellular vibration, right? All of a sudden your body goes into overload mode and it says, alert, alert, there's a problem in the knees. Let's send all of the red blood cells there to go heal the area. And so all the cells are vibrating much, much faster and they're condensing, they're overactive and therefore the energy radiating out from these cells accumulate and they cannot flow enough to that part of the body. They are restricted by the imbalance in the matter. Meanwhile, through the capillary system, the cells are constantly receiving nutrients or more matter and this matter cannot transform to energy. Because when I go into next week, I explain how matter transforms to energy and energy transforms to matter. It's not only uh, cute little words, it's scientific based. 
So matter cannot transform to energy and inner cannot transform back to matter when there is too much accumulation of energy and matter outside the cells. Therefore, there is tumor, cyst, growth, pain, whatever it may be. What is the source of all illness? Shen, Qi, Jing blockages. What caused that person to trip and fall and break their hip, break their knee, crack their skull on the ground? What caused that car accident that caused the lower back pain? There is always a root cause. Shen is soul, heart, mind level blockages, karma blockages. Qi is energy blockages. Jing is matter blockages. The Qi and the Jing blockages are after effects. They come after what happened at the level of soul. Is it starting to make more sense yet? Okay. Go back to sharing the screen. Now, some people have poor appetite or problems digesting or absorbing food and nutrients well. I'm sure a half of you watching can say, yeah, that's me. This lack of matter and deficiency of nutrients lead to biochemical changes affecting all of the body systems. So Master Shaw is now talking about matter level blockages. Remember right here, Jing, matter level blockages. He's still talking about those in relationship to abdominal issues where digestion and absorption is having big troubles, okay? This is because the chi and the matter are not going back and forth to each other in a healthy, balanced way. Therefore, there's biochemical changes affecting other body systems. This can create significant issues. Now we look into more details on chi. Why do people get sick? These are chi blockages now. 5,000 years ago in the Yellow Emperor's Canon, the ancient authority text on traditional Chinese medicine, the one sentence secret, if qi flows, one is healthy. If qi is blocked, one is sick. Very simple wisdom. What is qi? Vital energy. Qi is vital life force energy, as in Tai Chi and Qigong. In traditional Chinese medicine, which is referred to as TCM, there are at least 50 different kinds of chi. There is heart chi, liver chi, kidney chi, lung chi, spleen chi. There is yuan chi, which is your original chi. There is zhong chi, respiratory chi, jing chi, which is your clean chi. Uh, there is many different kinds of chi. In one sentence, chi is the energy that radiates out from the cellular vibration. Chi is the energy that radiates out from cellular vibration. So, the energy that radiates out from your cellular vibration of the liver is called liver chi. If it radiates out from the kidney, it's called kidney chi. If it radiates out from the spine, spinal chi, and so forth. In reality, this is Master Shah's wisdom, in reality, there is only one chi. All the different chi's are aspects of this one chi. According to soul, mind, body, medicine, Here's the book, Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine. The root cause of most illness is energy blockages. Energy leads the matter. Think of it in the order. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. What is before the matter? Energy. So in traditional Chinese medicine, adjust the energy the matter has to adjust. How do you explain hundreds, thousands of people walking out of Qigong hospitals and their tumors, their cancer stuff has disappeared. Certainly doesn't happen to all of them. There's probably half of them that it just doesn't work for, but half of them it does. Why aren't they doing that in Western medicines? Because they're working at the bottom rung. They're adjusting the biochemical matter. But if you adjust the energy, the chi above it, it will absolutely affect things. All of Master Shaw's wisdom and teachings are about how to adjust and clear blockages at the level of soul, then the heart, then the mind. What naturally transpires after that? What naturally changes after you heal things at the level of soul, heart, and mind? The energy and the matter adjusts to reflect the change up here at the soul and the heart and the mind. Why does the energy and the matter adjust? Because 
the soul is the carrier of message. What is message? Message is the soul karma, heart karma. What is heart karma? Jealousies, greed, corruption, right? Uh, all of these heart-related karmas, vows. Um, what are mind blockages? Negativity. So all of these blockages are at the level of soul, causing traumas at the energy matter level of the human body. What is the root cause of all sickness? What is the source of all sickness? You have it right here in a book that was written 15 years ago by a man who has 24 books, 11 New York Times bestsellers. Do you think this wisdom, if applied, will help you? It's highly, highly likely. <clears throat> you need a tutor. You need a mentor. You need a coach. Join my program. 52 weeks to self-healing. It's almost an impossibility at the end of 52 weeks that you won't come out of it feeling much, much, much better in every area of your life. If you attend, you do the practices, it's almost impossible not to feel better. Because the wisdom is not only practical, it's applicable, it's provable. <clears throat> so let's go back to the slides. In reality, there is only one chi. According to some mind body medicine, the root cause is blockages in your chi, whole body chi. Western medicine talks about the cells while traditional medicine talks about chi. Chi radiates out from the vibration of the cells and flows through the meridians in the body and spaces in the body. People don't talk about the space in between the cells, the space in between the organs and systems. Where do you think chi flows? It flows in between the matter. We are only literally, literally, we are only 1% matter, 99% space. A lot more chi flowing through us, but it's blocked by our soul level blockages. One sentence secret, if energy flows, one is healthy. If energy is blocked, one is sick. Very, very simple. Every system, organ, cell, DNA, RNA has its own chi. But if chi flows, the person is healthy. If chi is blocked, organs, systems, cells, cell units, all blocked. 85 to 90%, according to the Wisdom Master Shaw shares, is unhealthy conditions resultant from too much energy. This excess energy creates a blockage around cells. So let's, let's pause this a second. What does that mean? Too much energy. You have an accident, you have a trauma, you have an emotional trauma, a mental trauma. There is huge, huge vibration. Your cells are matter. What's in your cells are matter. They're vibrating, they're vibrating, they're converting from energy to matter, energy to matter, energy to matter. They're doing this all the time. I go into that in next week's teaching. And in that vibrational shift between energy and matter, because of the trauma, there is too much energy being created and there is too much mass being created. Therefore, the energy cannot flow. How do you bring balance to that? By understanding the wisdom and applying the wisdom of the four power technique for their teachings. The healing solution for too much energy is to remove the blockages and promote energy flow. To repeat, the healing solution is to remove too much energy and promote energy flow. The other 10 to 15% of unhealthy conditions are due to insufficient or deficient energy. This can lead to degenerative conditions such as multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia. This is insufficient chi flow in the body. The healing solution for not enough energy is to boost energy and promote energy flow. So according to Soul Mind Body Medicine, the root cause of most illness is energy blockage. Western medicine talks about cells, while traditional medicine talks about chi. Soul Mind Body Medicine puts the two of these wisdoms together by saying that illness is caused by chi blockages at the cellular level. How does chi get blocked? Cells consist of matter. When cells contract, Matter inside the cells turn into energy outside the cells. I repeat, when cells, the cells contract, think about it, cells breathe, they contract. Cells consist of matter. When cells contract, meaning they squeeze in on themselves, 
matter inside the cells turns into energy outside the cells. When cells expand, cells breathe out, the energy outside the cell transforms to matter back inside the cells. <clears throat> Can you visualize that? Science, Western medicine says, no, a cell just sits there. But uh, traditional soul wisdom says, no, <clears throat> all things in life blink in and out of existence. Physics can see that. They can see that a speck of energy matter blinks in, blinks out, blinks in, blinks out. They can see that when they shoot photons through a certain hole, that it goes left or right according to where they think it will go. Well, it should just go left or it should just go right. It should be predictable. No, where somebody thinks is where that photon goes. So energy and matter are always blinking in and out of existence. Our uh, health and wellness has um, some precursors like our karma, like what we think is what we become. The mind is very associated with health and healing. And at a very finite, minute level, when you understand that cells blink in and out of existence very rapidly, they create energy matter, energy matter, energy matter, energy matter, okay? All the constituents of the cells blink in and out, energy matter, energy matter, energy matter. And if that is not in relative balance, too much energy flowing to the area gets blocked, can't move forward. In Master Shah's book, he, um, he has over 100 images that show him in different standing postures and different sitting positions <clears throat> that are near hand, far hand, body powers, body postures that literally show how to move excess chi away from the area of trauma, excess chi away from a tumor, how to bring energy and matter back to balance. He's used that program uh, in a, it's called a four month cancer healing program and people have reversed their cancer doing these simple practices. So the Eastern Western approach is very logical. Finally, health depends on relative balance of this transformation. If the transformation is not balanced, then sickness occurs no matter what the cause has been identified. If the transformation remains in good balance, energy matter, energy matter, happy balance, happy balance, sickness does not occur. Finally, what are Shen blockages or spiritual blockages? We've discovered what is matter blockages. We've discovered what is energy blockages. Now we're going to discover what is matter blockages. That's the one I wanted you to see. <clears throat> so Shen, spiritual blockages. Spiritual blockages are the result. This is the most important part. Spiritual blockages are the result of mistakes you have made in previous times or possibly your ancestors. If you don't believe in more than one lifetime, okay, no problem. Mistakes you made in this time and mistakes, the sins of our fathers are visited upon us. You maybe have heard that. Mistakes that our ancestors have made, okay? And these impact our current life. <clears throat> these mistakes are recorded in the spiritual world as messages on our soul. Now, in different teachings, sometimes they're referred to as bad karma. <clears throat> this includes any harmful acts, behaviors, and even thoughts that you create, including killing, harming, stealing, cheating. These will add to your bad karma. <clears throat> All activities, behaviors, thoughts of one's life are recorded in the Akashic Record or in the book of life, which contains the history of every soul in the universe since creation. That's referred to as the Akashic records. <clears throat> so karma, which means the record of your services, can be divided into good and bad karma. Services that benefit human beings, all humanity, plant life, animals, etc., are considered good karma. Services that harm humanity and universes is considered bad karma. Spiritual law clearly states a person with good karma will receive blessings from the spiritual world. Health, happiness, finances, family, and every part of their life will be very, very happy. A person 
with not so good karma will learn lessons. So bad karma is the root of blockages and disasters in every aspect of life. Very simple. So the effects of karma could appear instantly or over a number of years or even over many lifetimes. If you are very disciplined and committed to serving humanity, your bad karma could be cleansed. In effect, it could be softened or postponed. So there are many people <clears throat> that are very, very good people, and yet they still suffer a lot. That means they and their ancestors have incurred many, many spiritual debts. But it also means that even though they're good people, their life has not been taken. They have not had huge suffering because they're doing good things. They are cleaning up their present and their future lifetimes by being cognizant. Their soul is very, very aware. Trust me, if they, if they are suffering and they're still doing good, good things, they know at the level of soul very clearly that they are in the process of cleaning up old debris and, and, and balancing the karmic debt. Okay? These karmic blockages are the messages on the soul. They are the, 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 the source of the ovary cysts. They are the source of the, of the cancers. They are the source of whatever the blockage is. They are the source of the depression. They are the source of the anxiety. They are the source of the constant worry or the constant fear. These are not accidental emotions. <clears throat> they are the source of the constant negativity that you cannot get out of your head no matter what. They are the source of the constant self-esteem issues. These are all physical, emotional, emotional, mental, spiritual based roots. If you have major self-esteem issues, it's highly likely you have been very unpleasant to others, causing them to invalidate themselves, causing them to uh, uh, put themselves down. Uh, in a previous lifetime, you may have been a very uh, unpleasant communicator. Uh, obviously, you're not now. Um, but if you find yourself in that place of a low self-esteem, always putting yourself down, there is karma associated with that. There's a message on your soul that constantly keeps this drilling down on your own head. These kinds of things can be resolved. These kinds of things can be reversed. It doesn't matter what the label Eastern or Western medicine has put on it. The root cause is a message at the level of soul. And when you apply the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us, that I will share with you through this 52-week program, join one month, join three months, doesn't matter. You will get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, as long as you come and apply the practices. I feel very confident with that because I've seen it happen over the last 10 years of teaching this. So obviously, doing more good karma things like serving, uh, helping others, uh, chanting, serving others, this will all increase your good karma, which will offset your spiritual debts, increase your life, increase your relationships, improve all of those areas of your life. So there are ways to do that. There are many, many uh, advanced practices there are downloads, treasures, transmissions that can assist you with clearing these blockages. There are so many things that over 10,000 dedicated students and over a million people worldwide have received soul healing miracles, Tao healing miracles, because they have applied this wisdom. So I cannot encourage you enough to come to my course. So in conclusion, the root of all illness is blockages and misalignment of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Jing Qi Shen, that's the root cause. These blockages are caused by our ancestors or our own choices of inappropriate, you know what's right and wrong, and unpleasant thoughts, words, and actions. Not just our words and our actions, guys, our thoughts too. And they have created messages, <coughs> excuse me, created messages on our soul in our Akashic records. And those soul of a blockages impact our heart, our mind, our energy, and our matter. Very simple, easy to understand teachings. The hard part is not the understanding. It is the application of the wisdom and practices to reverse the suffering. So if you're enjoying it, you're suffering. If you're enjoying the lack of finances, the lack of health, the lack of emotional balance, if you're enjoying the mental pain and suffering, what can I say? Keep doing it. If you are tired of it, sign up for the course. It's 
$10 a week, 40 bucks a month. Or for, if, you, if you sign up for three months, it's only $100. That's like $8 a class. Show me, you can't even do yoga nowadays for $8 a class. And this will fix many, many lifetimes of stuff if you come and do the classes and stick with it. So I encourage you to sign up, follow Kristen's uh, post. She gives you the link to my 52 week program. You can call me if you have questions. My phone number is listed right here. I will share the screen here. And you can also email me. Come to asoulhealer.com. You'll see it show up there in a second. Um, and by going to asoulhealer.com, scrolling down the first page, you'll see right away the classes that I offer. And you can also consider joining the advanced spiritual class, Awaken Your Spiritual Channels. But that's not what this one teaching is about. So uh, if you're local, you can call me message me. Facebook Messenger is a good way to get a hold of me. But tell your family, tell your friends about this course. It's very user-friendly, very easy for them to adopt and apply in their life. If you truly care about somebody getting healthier and happier, give them this copy. Uh, I recorded this so that at the end of this Facebook live stream, it will be a video and you can pass it on to anyone that you want to see it. You just right-click on the video itself. Um, after it becomes a video, right-click on it. And F Facebook will give you a URL. Facebook will give you a link. You can drop in somebody's um, email or drop in their messenger or whatever you want to do. And then they can watch it. And they can make a choice if this is for them or not. Finally, the class starts Sunday. But uh, I've created it such that somebody can come in one month from now and we'll have missed nothing. Isn't that beautiful? So no matter where somebody comes in, they will not have missed anything. They'll be able to catch on and stay with the class, okay? That's the purpose and the value of this teaching. So I have not been able to see any of your posts. I have not been able to say thank you to all of those that have joined me today. I'm gonna have to look at them after the fact once this is done, but I want to tell you thank you for coming. I love you. I'm very grateful for this opportunity to serve you, and I will see you on Thursday at 9 a.m. Hawaii time, that's three hours earlier than when this one started, and uh, that'll be for my normal Facebook live stream. Uh, so now I'm coming back to wave. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye-bye, everybody. Make sure you click on the links that Kristen has posted or call me to join. Bye-bye.